Yo, 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 what's up guys? It's Willy Cuz and welcome to part 13 of our Assassin's Creed 3 playthrough in our franchise playlist. And uh, without further ado, I'm gonna let you guys get right back to it. Hope you enjoy. My enemy is tenacious. When money failed them, they took to force. But I have slain Johnson and Pitcairn both, ending their plots. George Washington now rallies the colonists and their march towards freedom begins in earnest. Little wonder, then, that the Templars now want him dead. They seek to reshape this land into something cold and ordered, something soulless. And he is an obstacle. I must save him, that his cause can flourish and my people remain safe. But the more I prod, the greater the chance I am discovered. The Templars believe their men lost the revolution. In their eyes, the assassins are gone and scattered, no longer a threat. But I fear they will soon discover the truth, and me along with it. I must tread carefully. How fares the hunt, Connor? There is progress, but I worry it is not enough. You must strike where you need it most. What if you pursue Charles Lee and your father? What then of Paul Revere and the soldiers at Lexington? Soldiers? There were no soldiers in those towns, only men and women who were forced to defend themselves. Is this not why you fight? To protect your people? Your struggle is the colonist's struggle. In helping one, you help the other. Encouraging words from one who thought mine a fool's errand. <laughs> Make no mistake. I still do, but I can't help but feel some pride in your success. And why should I give you any credit? Then don't. But uh, first, return the robe and the blade and the, and the darts and all of the years of training and knowledge I have bestowed upon you. Return these and then your words may have some merit. Or you could just admit that you are wrong. Oh, child, please, you've killed two men. One more salesman than soldier. You're gonna have to try a lot harder than that to impress me. Is that so, old man? Or perhaps we should step outside. I will gladly demonstrate how easily I could... Trounce. Connor, this is Benjamin Talmadge. His father was one of us, no need for secrecy. I think he has something he wants to say. Achilles tells me you've uncovered a plot to murder the Commander-in-Chief. Yes, but I have only false starts and dead ends to show for it. Not anymore, my friend. Thomas Hickey's your man, and I aim to help you catch him. How? I'll explain on the way. You and I are going to New York. I'd use your help. Suis-moi. I want to build her a new knife of steel I make special. I know where to get iron, but the mine belongs to the English. Will it take long to gather? No. A couple of blasts and I will have what I need. I just need you to stand watch. I will wait for you at the mine. It's not far, just off the property. I need to prepare some explosive. My guess is the bang will bring some unhappy English. <laughs> no doubt. I had best prepare some things myself. Sacre Dieu! I think they are coming! Somebody's in our mind! Got everything! Time to go! Soldier? Get out of here, mate. This is not your business. Deserter! Another tough guy, boys! Take him down!
Yield, or your friend dies! Are you hurt? Nothing the won't mend. Thank you, stranger. What were they doing? This lot was dragging me through the countryside, trying to make an example of a deserter. Sorry, now, who are you? Connor. A deserter, you say? Don't much agree with the fight, and uh, I love this country. So there you have it. The name's David Walston. My friends call me Big Dave. Might I ask where you live so I could repay the debt when I'm able? It might take us a while. Us smithies don't earn much coin these days. Our community is not far from here, and we certainly could use the services of a smith. Would you consider plying your trade there? Well, it would make repaying you a spot easier. Huh, I just might. Ahoy, Bobby! Do you trust her? With my life, Captain. <laughs> Name's Amanda. You must be the captain. Now, what's all this about, then? You stride into my bar off the piss and looking for officers. Days later, I start hearing whispers the ghost of the North Seas stalks the Atlantic again. The Aquila has returned, and I need her help. Nicholas Biddle now sails for the Patriots, captaining the Randolph. But the man is raiding up and down the coast round Nantucket, claiming it's a loyalist post. Where is he now? Speak of the devil. Head below deck, Mandy. It's safer there. I want to see this myself. Randolph is attacking a merchant vessel not far from here. Your orders. We need to find out what Biddle intends, but we must hurry. What else do you know of Biddle? All of a sudden, Congress has a brand new ship for him to captain. From British coxswain to captain of a colonial flagship, something doesn't add up. Heavy gust, captain, hard counter. That wind will push us hard up those rocks, veer off. There's a storm coming, Captain. Feels like a big one.
Randolph has turned sail. Do we chase him? We cannot leave this merchant vessel to the mercy of the English. Why is Biddle doing this? Nantucket is for the Patriots. The company he keeps tells me his true allegiance lies elsewhere. Pursue the Randall. us to deal with this rabble but this storm concerns me a great deal more we have little choice aye time your shots between the waves sir then we must find shelter or it won't be cannon fire then. Mr. Faulkner, we make for the vineyard. I have never seen weather like that. It's rare, but it happens. You did well. What's bothering me is Biddle's a patriot now. Why is he helping the British Navy like that? Old friends, maybe? Well, how would you convince the Continental Congress the Navy needs more ships? The rash of British raiding the coast is reason enough to address the gripe. Gunboats at the vineyard, now this. Hmm. Bitter seems to be the first admiral of the Colonial Navy and is making a case for the need. That was some deft sailing, Captain. I was watching from the gun deck. What were you doing on the gun deck? I told you to stay out of harm's way. I'm fine, Bobby, not to worry. The people of Nantucket are surely grateful, and so am I. 
Glad you're back. Faulkner's guess better be right. Why anyone would believe the Northwest Passage exists is beyond me. The Octavius, Hendrik Vanderhall's first and last captaincy. Hendrik Vanderhall, Captain Kidd's quartermaster turned captain himself. The path you sought never existed, Hendrik. I hope your suffering was short. Rest the rock that doesn't fit. So what is your stake in all this? Same as yours. Peace. Stability. A land in which all might live side by side. Free and equal. Why not join the Brotherhood, then? My father was an assassin. Quite good at his job, too, as I understand it. But... I hope to have children someday. It's hard to live in two worlds at the same time. So, I chose to live in one. I understand. I still contribute as I can. That's why we're here now. What can you tell me of Thomas Hickey? 
He has been running a counterfeiting ring in the city. Locate the source of his operation, and we can have him arrested. He cannot harm the commander if he is in prison. Do you know where he is? Not exactly, but I have an idea where we can begin the search. There are rumors of bad bills being circulated here. No doubt they come from Thomas. What are you up to? This isn't money! It's colored paper! You've cheated me for the last time! God! everyone back at the shop says we strike tonight they worried about that business with the guards i'm telling you it's nothing i've had a spot of trouble since i slipped away of course i'm taking care to keep the distance i can't believe we're really gonna do this we'll be heroes the ones who ended all this talk of revolution they'll set us up like kings they Troublemakers looking to upset the apple cart. Or some fool fill their heads with rubbish, ruining it for the rest of us good folk. Good folk? Really? Of course. You and me and Hickey. Just some hard luck lads trying to survive this cold, cruel world. <laughs> this? Thomas Hickey? Might be. What's it to you? Huh. Ain't supposed to be none of your kind left. Suppose I'd best be rectifying that then. Get him! money. You're a right fool meddling in affairs you know nothing about. Washington's the only thing keeping the Continental Army together. You kill him, you end all hope for freedom. Wrong, boy -o. With him gone, they'll have no choice but to promote Lee, and then... You are both under arrest! Oh, well, we were just having a scrap, officer. Ain't nothing wrong with uh, two men settling their differences the old-fashioned way. Can't we come to a... Quiet! What are the charges? Counterfeiting! I had nothing to do with that. Of course not! Listen, there are more important things at stake here. This man is planning to... Ah. You. You miss me, sweetheart. What? Nothing to say. If you are here, then Washington is safe. True, true. Thing is, 
I believe I've just been pardoned. Thank you kindly for the rescue, gents. There can be no further mistakes, Thomas. Am I understood? What about this, the assassin? Yeah. He's here. They put him in a cell right next to mine. Guess we didn't get them all, eh? Deal with this, Charles. At once, sir. What are we gonna do? You're that boy from the Continental Congress. Adams's little lapdog. Hmm. I think I have an idea. Yes. Two birds with one stone. Do tell. All in good time. It's not like the assassin's going anywhere. For now, we should see about getting you better accommodations here. What are you on about? I thought I was getting out. I'm afraid you won't be leaving for a while, thanks to Benjamin Talmadge. He's been running his mouth, saying all sorts of things. You're being investigated for plotting to assassinate George Washington. What a bunch of bollocks. I thought you was going to handle that. We'll discuss this elsewhere. Smells even worse than it looks. They clearly spared no expense here. I'm telling you, he's planning to escape. We should get in on it. Yeah? And what makes you think that? Caught him carving something in the yard. Slipped it in his pocket real quick when he saw me. Looked like a key. Probably just a shiv. Nah. Mason ain't a fighter. Always talking and tricking his way out of trouble. Weasel weems, they call him. Stinky bastard. Come on, Finch. He's not so bad. Even told me some letters once. Gonna write a note to my lady. Ha! What for? You think that whore's out there pining for you? Saving herself for when you get out? Huh? No doubt she's already moved on to the next fella, and the fella after him. You shut your mouth for I shut it for you. Easy now. It was just a joke. Yeah? Well, it wasn't very funny. Where are we going? Stay out of trouble or you'll wind up in the pit! What are you looking at, half-breed? You not understand English? That it? Do I need to knock some sense into that thick head of yours? I should try and find this Weems fellow. If he intends to escape, perhaps he can help me. Mason Weems? Could be. I need your help. Oh? They say you know a way out of here. They say a lot of things. I do not have time for games. A shame, as I was hoping you might play one with me. Fine. Are you familiar with the rules? Seeing as you already know mine, what's your name? Connor. Pleased to meet you, Connor. Well played. So, what brings you to Bridewell? 
treachery. I have been falsely accused. Of course you have. You do not believe me? Why should I? You have the look of a brute. <sighs> you misjudge. I am an honest man. And yet, also a man imprisoned. Tell me how you found yourself in this place. It is a private matter. As is what you ask of me. I was trying to prevent a murder. Oh! Anyone I know? George Washington. The others put you up to this, didn't they? Thought it might be fun to have another laugh at Mason's expense. Fools, a lot of them. To make light of something like this? George Washington is brave beyond measure. Loyal like a brother, peerless in character, and unshakable in his convictions. That man is our Jupiter Conservator. Destined to lead us not just to freedom, but greatness. Anyone who says otherwise is either a simpleton or a traitor. Then you understand why I need to get out of here. If I don't help him, he is going to die. You're serious, aren't you? Very well. But it's going to take some doing. See, everything hinges on the key I forged. But that loud finch stole it. it. Took me three months to make the thing, too. <sighs> you need to get it back, or we're not going anywhere. Consider it done. At. You in the market for us, Bin? Your key is useless. What do you mean? It did not fit the lock. It's not meant to. You forged a key that does not work. Well, that all depends on what you mean by work. It'll get us out of here. Just not the way you expected. Then how? You're going to use it to get the real key off the warden. You have to swap yours for his. Why don't you just have me take the real key? Why all this extra work? He might notice if it went missing. This way, he'll be none the wiser. And when he tries to use it? He won't. That's why we're targeting him. <sighs> How do I reach the Warden? Yes. This next part, you may not like. Oh, as if I've liked the others. Out with it. You need to pick a fight. What? Pick a fight, and they'll throw you in the pit. And how in the world does this help us? The Warden oversees the pit. Getting sent there is the only way to reach him. I give you credit. You've given this plan to risk my life a great deal of thought. Take down as many as you can. One or two will only serve to entertain the guards. You need to make them angry. We all have our part to play. Try not to die.
Fancy yourself a troublemaker, eh? Some time in the pits to cool your blood. Look at all of you, pathetic, dirty wretches. You're not but swine, suckling at the teats of civilization, thieves and scoundrels all. And do you acknowledge this? Do you repent and beg forgiveness? No. You elect instead to commit new and more terrible crimes inside what should be a place of rehabilitation. You bide your time, awaiting the day of release that you might corrupt anew. The worst part is that the good people of New York are forced, quite literally, to pay for your crimes. Where do you think the money for this prison came from, hmm? For your outfits? Our wages? Resources wasted because you refuse to contribute to society. You would rather dwell at its margins, living off the hard work of others. We'd be doing everyone a favor if we simply put you all down. Then our money might be spent on more productive things. Ah, but it seems our current leaders lack the courage to accept this truth. So you are spared, that you might leech a while longer. And if a few of you might die or go missing, who will notice? Who will care? And why should they? You are wasted on the world. Mark my words. The time fast approaches when such weakness will no longer be tolerated. And what a joyous day that will be. You'll find Hickey through that door. It's where they keep the important prisoners. Nicer rooms, more space, those sorts of things. It seems even in prison, who you know makes all the difference. Thank you, Mason, for everything. I will find a way to repay the favor when my work here is finished. Not who you was expecting, am I right? What have we here? I thought we'd finished off your kind. You would like that, wouldn't you? To rid the world of all who do not share your views. <laughs> Guilty as charged. Your meddling in the revolution has caused us no small measure of grief. It cannot continue. Our work is too important. But what would you know beyond all the lies Achilles feeds you and the tales you tell yourself? I know that the people wish to be free, and that men like Washington fight to make it so. Please, the man is weak. He stumbles and stammers through each engagement, making it all up as he goes along. His pedigree is pathetic, his military record even more so. I could go on and on, but we'd be here for days. So manifold are his faults, so deficient are his merits. He must be dealt with. You as well. I will abide no more flies in the ointment. Here's how it's gonna work. First we bind you and bring you to your cell. Then tomorrow, you go before the court, accused of plotting to kill good old Georgie. <laughs> hmm. Maybe we could pin the murder of her, the warden on you too. You did kill him after all. And who wouldn't take the word of Charlie over here? Huh. Once that's all squared away, well then. <laughs> all oh, those years ago, the child in the forest was you. I said I would find you. <gasps> and so you have. But not quite as you had expected, am I right? <laughs> you know, all of this might have been avoided had you only done what I asked. Ah, but what's done is done. <clears throat> uh, 
Up! Up with you! I said, get up! Walk! Bye now! Hello, Connor. Didn't think I'd miss your going away party, did ya? <laughs> I hear Washington himself is gonna be in attendance. Hope nothing bad happens to him. You said there'd be a trial. Oh, no trial for traitors, I'm afraid. Lee and Haytham sort of that. It's straight to the gallows for you. <laughs> I will not die today. The same cannot be said for you. That's enough! Keep moving! Forget about me. You need to stop Hickey. He's... Uh, up you go. Don't want to be late now, do we? You just had to be an hero, didn't you? You and Georgie both. Now you see what it gets you. A pine box and little else. Brothers. Sisters. Fellow Patriots, several days ago we learned of a scheme so vile, so dastardly, that even repeating it now disturbs my being. The man before you plotted to murder our much beloved general. Indeed, what darkness or madness moved him, none can say, and he himself offers no defense shows no remorse. And though we have begged and pleaded with him to share what he knows, he maintains a deadly silence. If the man will not explain himself, if he will not confess and atone, what other option do we have but this? He sought to send us into the arms of the enemy, and thus we are compelled by justice to send him from this world. May God have mercy on your soul. Need to stop, Hickey. Go! Damn it. I 
thought I'd at least live to see another day. <sighs> Shame. I want answers. Why did Johnson try and buy my people's land? Why was Pitcairn targeting Adams and Hancock? What purpose would Washington's murder have served? Why does your order support the British? How should I know? The Templars, Lee, the big man, Haytham. They has the money. They has the power. That's the reason I threw him with them. That's the only reason. Sure, they have some sort of vision for the future, too. I didn't give a damn about any of that. They can sing their songs about mankind and its troubles. They can make their plans and spring their traps. Don't bother me none. They paid me, so I said yes. Didn't bother to ask who or how or why. Didn't care. You chose to side with men who would rob us of our humanity simply because it was more profitable? What else is there? I'm not some blind fool who give up all I've got on principle. What is principle anyway? Can you bring it to the bank? Don't look at me like that. We're different, you and I. You're just some blind fool who's always chasing butterflies. Whereas I'm the type of guy who likes to have a beer in one hand and a tea in the other. Thing is, boy, I can have what I seek. Had it even. You, your hands will always be empty. At ease, man! At ease! I said, lower your goddamn guns! This man's a hero! Oh, the general can be so stubborn sometimes. Piffle, he said, when we warned him something like this would happen. Piffle! Stop. He wanted to kill the commander. Nearly killed you as well. He was a scoundrel. But still a man. Hm. You're nothing if not consistent. Where is Washington? I need to speak with him. Bundled off as soon as your execution went sideways. He's likely on his way back to Philadelphia by now. And so am I. Something wrong? He is still in danger. Hickey did not act alone. It's quite impressive what you've accomplished. Is that a compliment? Well, don't misconstrue. I'm sure the whole endeavor will end tragically. But to have come this far, well, it's more than I ever expected. The people yearn for freedom but fear to grab hold of it. That fear is gone now. Thanks to you? No. This they did on their own. You diminish your role. But you have always been of humble heart. I do what is right. No more, no less. You cannot tell him. I have to. Otherwise, he will never be safe. He is safer not knowing. By planting the seeds of doubt, you threaten to topple his entire endeavor. If Washington is paralyzed, Charles Lee will strike. You'll cause the very thing you aim to prevent. Hunt the Templars as is your duty, but do not drag these men into it. And for the support of this declaration, with a firm reliance on the protection of divine providence, we mutually pledge to each other our lives, our fortunes, and our sacred honor. We must now all hang together. Yes, we must indeed all hang together. Or most assuredly, we shall all hang separately. You are once more our savior. I must speak with the commander. He's gone to try and hold New York. The British intend to take it. I fear we'll need to recall our men from Quebec as well. It's one thing to declare our independence. Now, my friend, we must make it so.
everything all right? Sean has located a second power source. I've asked Rebecca to charter a flight for us. Where to? Brazil. Anyway, <laughs> uh, that concludes this video and part 13 of Assassin's Creed 3. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you all in the next one if you choose to stick around for it.